Hey everyone and welcome back to the Stoker Review. And for this review, I'm doing the new Neanderthal Shallow Gene Pool from Roma Craft to Back. The Neanderthal cigar was released in two sizes. First was the HM was a Figurado. It came in at five and uh, by 52 by 50 uh, slash 58 Figurado. The second one was a shallow gene pool, which is four and a half by 52. The shallow gene pool was a shop exclusive to Riverside cigars and also serious cigars in Houston, Texas. Um, that's actually where I purchased mine at. The shallow gene pool as you can see, it's, kind of, it's like a short Robusto, and it has a very pronounced flat cap on it, you can see there. It's a really cool looking cigar. You can look at it there. And this cigar features a Mexican San Andreas Maduro wrapper. The binder is Connecticut Broadleaf Maduro. The filler is a special uh, blend of filler and kind of going go a little bit more detail of that it has uh, a really nice Nicaraguan blend from Condega, Jalapa um, and Esteli and also uh, Pueblo Nuevo which I've actually had a, a chance to sample that um, at Nica, Nica Sueno which is the factory where the Roma Craft cigars are made when I was visiting there uh, when we said the Drew Estate Cigar Safari, we actually visited Skip at his factory and he gave us a tour of the factory along with um, Esteban Disla, that's uh, his master blender. And they're the ones that came up with the cigar. But they showed us around and they gave us uh, basically his little, little, uh, his little small cigars that are blended. That have, there's not a blend at all, it's a single type of tobacco. They had some different ones to, uh, for us to try out them. Pueblo Nuevo was one of them. I remember being quite strong. But uh, this also has Dominican uh, Allure in it. But the special one in here is a special tobacco from the U.S. from Pennsylvania called Green, it's uh, Green River uh, Sucker Number One, or Sucker One. And basically what's special about that is, it's a regrowth tobacco and it has double the nicotine content, or about double the nicotine content of other Lajero tobaccos. So Skip used this to give the cigar a, a more full body, uh, full bodiness to the cigar and with the other, other different uh, tobaccos he added to the blend, it made it really, really a nice powerful cigar but still has really good flavor and balance to it and it's, it actually burns really well too. This cigar actually comes in a really beautiful 15 count box. You can see the box there. There's that and then each of the size there and then there's the back of the box and you can see this has the lid that actually comes off like that. It's a pretty nice chunk of wood there. And it has a 15 count in there of cigars. Really beautiful, beautiful box. Really heavy, really good heavyweight box. It's really nice. I mean, it's the box is actually so nice that when I'm finishing cigars, I'm keeping the box around just because it's so cool. But, uh, Anyway, let's get to the cigar itself here. Let's look at the foot a little bit there. Little focus. There we go. And the cap, which is the most interesting part of it. It's very, very nice. Flat. The, this cigar actually, uh, for me, the flat cap, I've I both cut it and I punched it. And the way I punch it is I actually will take the punch and actually punch three holes in the top 
and it's kind of like the Trinity rings. If you see any the the Celtic artwork that has the Trinity rings, that's kind of what I do to the top of it, and it works really, really well. And, uh, but also, just cutting it normal uh, works pretty well too. But you got to be real careful because I don't know if it'll focus in on that. Uh, come on, will it? Yeah, there you go. You see that the cap is pretty thin so you got to cut really close to the top edge of it really beautiful looking cigar it's kind of got a real rustic finish to it but it looks really nice i really like this cigar i'm gonna go ahead and uh light up the cigar i'll be back in a minute to let you know how it starts off see you in a second so it started to lit up the cigar now, I was sitting here reading actually a review from my friend Tony Casas at CasasFilmando.com uh, and he was actually reviewing the the original HN version of the cigar, which is the bigger Figurado. And he says that his, when he reviewed it, it started out with bold cayenne pepper, strong oak, plum, pecan, and spice. Um, I, I get most of that out of this one. I do get a strong cayenne pepper note on it and I'm mostly that kind of I kind of get that that thought because it's kind of like that black pepper that you get from a lot of Nicaraguan tobacco and Swiss Lajero but it's like more uh, like a more spiciness punch to it so the cayenne pepper I could definitely see where he got that at I do get a, a really rich oakiness out of this cigar um, I do get uh, Right now I'm getting I'm getting black pepper, which I knew would probably would get with this. But I'm getting like the spice. Like he said it was a spice note, but I, I get it's something more, more to it. It's like a, a hold on. It had it. It's got a sweetness to it. It almost is kind of like it's like a burnt sugar, but it's got like maybe I don't know. It's kind of escaping me right now. But like I said, I'm just at the just lit the cigar. But basically, what I'm getting out of this is kind of like what Tony said he got with the HN, except this one to me is sweeter than what he was talking about. He he said he didn't get any sweetness out of it at all out of the HM, but this one I'm getting a sweetness, but it's in the back of the palate and it's actually coming after the spice dies down. Like I'm getting a strong tingling sensation on my lips and in the back of the palate. And I'm assuming that's from the Lajero that's in the cigar. But it's, it, it is strong, even from the very get go, it's strong. But to me, it's, it's, it's still really smooth, if that makes sense. It's not really a, a, like a kick in the face strong, but there, there's like a lot more depth to it. It, 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 it is strong, but there's, it's smoother and a lot more depth to the cigar. It's, it's really good right, right from the beginning. Just that cayenne pepper note is, it, I mean, I'm only, you can see where I'm, Started when I first started talking where I'm at now. It's the cayenne pepper is dying down pretty quick that I'm getting. I'm still getting the the big main note is that oakiness. I'm getting a real strong oakiness to it. I'm picking up a little bit of leather, and I'm getting that there's this nice sweetness that's kind of in the background that it's starting to become a little bit more pronounced, and I'm getting that little bit of spice but I can't really put my finger on exactly how to describe that spice right now but I'm gonna smoke this at a halfway point and I'll be back to let you know how it is I'll see you in a second hey everybody I'm about to the midway point now the cigar has really developed not only in terms of strength but also in the flavor profile I still get that strong oak flavor that the woody oaky flavor that I get from the beginning I still get a little bit of that black pepper spice but as it burned down I'm getting a little bit of, of, of earthiness to it and also a nice cocoa note 
that cocoa note does have a sweetness to it that I guess was just like the sweetness I got from the beginning that I thought was like a burnt sugar but to me now it's developing more into like a sweet cocoa note and I'm attributing that to the Mexican San Andreas Maduro wrapper because that's usually what I get out of that wrapper um, that spice note that I was kind of getting in the beginning of the cigar I never really could honestly identify that it's it's kind of died off and I don't really get it anymore at all what I'm getting mostly like I said is the oakiness there's an earthiness to it a little bit of black pepper and a nice cocoa note to it the strength is really there I can really feel the strength of the cigar but it's not overbearing it's very still like I said before it's very smooth and it's really rich and, and a lot of depth to it too it's really a fine smoke. I'm really enjoying this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to finish this cigar off. And I'll be back to let you know how it is. I'll see you in a second. Hey, buddy, I'm at the end of the cigar now. The, the flavors have pretty much remained the same. I'm getting a strong oakiness. I'm getting an earthiness and a nice cocoa note. Now, I do get a little bit of the black pepper but it's kind of faded down a lot now now this cigar seemed to me has gotten stronger from the beginning to the end of the cigar it's very very stout <laughs> so if you smoke this just do it on a full stomach and you know usually you might want to have like a nice sugary beverage with it just in case but uh i really like this cigar and i'm actually going to show you you know do it the uh triple punch that i do on the end of it it's kind of hard to see now but it really opens the cigar up uh when i do that triple punch like that and it still leaves the clean lines that flat top that it has on there which i really i think is really cool looking and uh, i'm also pairing it with just some you know sparkling perrier water i just wanted to make sure i get you know all the the true flavors of cigar and not have a mask or anything even though I, I've had a, a few of these now but it's definitely a stout cigar one of the stoutest I've ever had but like I said there's a nice smoothness and a nice depth to it that you don't really get with a lot of the other super strong cigars out there you know you get usually they get pretty harsh and it's just used like one kind of one dimensional it this one's nothing like that it does have that power but there's a lot more to it it's a lot more character to this cigar than a normal cigar that's just really really full body with a lot of lajero in it um also wanted to mention too like lajero is naturally hard to burn so you kind of gotta you know mix it in with other things and make it a little bit more combustible this cigar has had no relights whatsoever construction on it it's absolutely amazing i mean i can hold an ash on this cigar for a pretty long while um it, it's just held together real well it's burned perfectly i can't tell you how how you know how good the actual construction is i mean it's just it's just a really well built cigar let's see if you can look at the uh burn line it'll focus there we go burn really really well Nice combustion of the cigar. It, like I said, I had no relights. Really, really good cigar. And I think I, uh, if I remember right, it was, I can't remember the actual price point of the cigar, what it ended up paying, but I actually, I'll put it in the comment section, but uh, it wasn't very expensive, if I remember right, for a box of 15. I think it was like 130. I, I'll have to I have to go back and check that again because honestly I don't remember and I didn't look it up before I actually came on camera. But really really high quality cigar. So if you want to get a hold of these, get a box of these or a five pack or whatever, uh, call up or go online and visit uh, Serious Cigars or Riverside Cigars, and they'll hook you up. Well, uh, they're the only two places that have these. And this also. If I'm right, this is also a Roma Craft event cigar. So if you go to one of their events, you can get this cigar there as well. But it's definitely one to check out. I love the format. I'm not real big on super strong cigars, but Skip, I mean, if you follow me at all, and you've looked at my top 10 list, 
every year there's been at least one, usually multiple Roma Craft cigars on that list. This is no exception. It's another really high quality, well-made cigar that's came out of Roma Craft that I think is another winner. I, honestly, I haven't had anything that they put out that I didn't think that was a really, really good cigar. And this is another one. It's stout, so if you're a medium smoker or mild smoker, if you're a mild smoker, you definitely can't touch that cigar. If it's a medium body smoker, which I, that's kind of where I am at now, I kind of backed off on super strong cigars because I kind of just, honestly, I don't really enjoy them that much anymore. I don't like being overpowered, but that's what I like about this cigar. It has power, but it's not overwhelming. You still get some great flavor out of it. And it's just a really rich cigar. And I guess that's where the strength kind of comes in with this Lajero. The Lajero actually makes it more of a richer cigar than just a powerhouse. So I really have enjoyed this cigar. It's definitely one to check out. It's just an, another winner for Roma Craft. So check them out. Let me know what you think if you've already had them. And I actually want to link uh, to a couple of the, my other buddies on there that I'd mentioned in there. Um, I know Seth, my buddy Seth from Seth's Humidors actually reviewed this. And I'll link it to give you, a, you know, just another viewpoint on this cigar. And also to my friend Tony at uh, CasasFamando.com on his, um, what was it, the um, HN cigar, which is the big Figurado, because if there's two different ones. And I, that at least give you another viewpoint of that bigger cigar too, which I don't have, so I don't know if I'll be able to review that one anytime soon. But at least give you, you know, different viewpoints and, you know, something you can check out compared to what I've, what I've tasted and what Seth got out of it and what Tony got out of the, the larger Vitola. So anyway, check it out. Let me know if you've had them and what you thought. And on that note, I'll see you next time.